So unfortunately, I went ahead and did wheels and tires on the Mustang without doing a video on it. I know I should have did a video, kind of document the whole process, ordering the wheels, but I wanted to touch on it a little bit now because I love the wheels and the way they turned out so much that I feel like I just have to share the information and the company and the specs and everything else. So I got the Mustang in, got the color I wanted, and immediately I started searching for wheels and tires because obviously the stock ones were terrible. <laughs> Definitely knew that I wanted to go between polished and bronze, kind of, against the grain because a lot of people like black wheels now or dark gray wheels now or like gunmetal wheels now and i feel like polish is kind of coming back so i kind of thought that was going to be it for a minute but i found these wheels from variant alloy wheels i actually found them on instagram cool company cool guys i i ended up inboxing them and, and talking to them about a few things color wise you can you can customize any wheel you want any color you want i went ahead and ordered these these are called Xenons. So I did a staggered setup. I did 19 by 11 in the rear, 19 by 10 in the front. I'll put all the specs down below, but they turned out so sick against the green that I just feel like they're video worthy. They're video worthy. And the GoPro really does it no justice, but they turned out so sick. I inboxed the guy, right? And I said, yeah, listen, I have a green Mustang. It's just a GT. I'm probably going to do lowering springs. What can you sell me that will fit perfectly? And honestly, he had all the specs already ready to go. He didn't even need any more information than that. He already knew the bolt pattern, even though obviously that's not hard to find. He knew what offset I was going to run. He knew the sizes that I should run and got them custom grinded or or milled or however they do it. I don't even really know the process they do. I believe they have some type of giant machine that they're throwing it in, whether it be a water blaster or, you know, I don't know. They got them sent out to me in like probably four days and they're in Arizona. So it was just literally stock sitting there that they had to still cut the wheels out. So between throwing the wheels in the machine, getting them all done and coated in the color and getting them sent to me from Arizona in four days, I mean, you can't beat that. So that was cool. Guy was super, super nice. I forget his name. If, if I find it, I'll, I'll drop it down below. Definitely contact him if you're looking for some wheels. They have a bunch of different designs, so it's not just this design and it's not just this color. Again, you can customize them, so you can get any color you want, really. But they have some crazy stuff with like carbon lips. They have some multiple piece wheels. These are just single like flow forge wheels, but the sky's the limit, really. They, ha they have kind of a little bit of everything and they're not cheap, but they're not ridiculously overly expensive for no reason. And if you're just cruising around and you wanna look good, I mean, these are the ones, I think. But, oh my God, they look so good, dude. They're just so good. You have to go staggered setup, in my opinion, on these. So, again, I still have to do lowering springs in the rear. I just haven't had the time to do it yet. It's not overly concaved. It's kind of like perfect, in my opinion. Concave can make or break a wheel. So if you do concave on something like this, oh my God, it looks so good, dude. Mm, so good and tasty. It's absolutely necessary, I think. Absolutely necessary. The color came out so good, so it's like, I think it's called brushed bronze. So it's almost different from every angle you're looking at. It kind of has a little bit of a different effect. Don't make fun of my brake calipers yet. I gotta, I gotta get them taken off and, and, you know, colored something, but. I don't know, we'll see. Variant Wheels is based out of Arizona and they're, I think, a smaller company, not no crazy company like Forgiato or, you know, Weld or anything like that, but they can be had on any of the big websites like Omar's or Fitment Industries and Custom Offset and everything else. But they send you everything that you need. So you have your little wheel ID, you have your set, your size, uh, obviously diameter and width, um, you have your bolt pattern, you have your back spacing, offset, all that jazz, your color. And they send that to you, so before you even open the box, you get a little glimpse at your wheel. So that's like a little, it's like a little drawing of the wheel, which is pretty cool. It's not 3D or nothing, but that, that's how the wheel looks, obviously, without the color. But then you unbox them and it's just like the wow factor is crazy with this particular color. Like, I don't know if, if anybody else gets as excited as me about getting wheels, but to me, it just, changes the entire look of the car anything that changes the look of the car whether it be a big mod or a small mod so i'm going from like tint i'm talking like blacking out badges to wheels and tires anything that changes the look of the car just gets me going what is that weird 
I don't know, maybe that's weird. But variant wheels, so sick, hot and fresh out the kitchen, if you know what I'm saying. And they killed it because this color against the eruption green is something that I've never even considered. Uh, I was looking for like a, a copper or some type of dark bronze, but the brushed bronze in the sun, dude, in the sun, it's not even a, it's kind of an overcast day, but they still look so sick. They still look so sick and the camera probably doesn't do it any justice, but honestly, I can't even, I can't even describe to you how much better they look in person. Again, I gotta get rid of this wheel gap. I know everybody there, you gotta get rid of the wheel gap, dude. You can fit a football in there. Sick, dude. Sick. I don't have all the time in the world, you know what I mean? I work 12 hour shifts, but nah, these wheels are sick. So stay tuned for, I mean, more content, more, more modifications, more, a little bit of everything. Hopefully we get that thousand subscribers sooner than later and get that boost activated. But I definitely have some things in store, whether it be lighting or, you know, a little bit of front end parts, a little bit of rear end parts. You know, I don't know. Maybe I got something up my sleeve. I don't even know. I don't even know what's up my sleeve because right now, apparently I'm not even wearing long sleeves. So I guess there's nothing up it right now, but I don't know. We'll see. Just wanted to update you guys on the wheels. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure you check these guys out, whether you're buying wheels or not. If you're just window shopping or checking for anything for like a future project, make sure you give these guys a chance because the wheels turned out sick. I love the way they look. The fitment was perfect and I kind of trust them and left it in their hands and I can't complain. It's perfectly flush. I don't know if you could see, but everything turned out great. I, I know stock wheels were like 235s on all four corners. So I wasn't really sure being this is my first S550 Mustang, what I could fit or accomplish without it looking too ridiculous. And they hooked me up perfectly with, you know, and they gave me the tire specs that I should run. If you give them what kind of make, model, car you have, and what your setup is, they will be able to pinpoint exactly what spec wheels you need, and they will give you a recommendation on what size tires you need. So it's almost like a mini custom offsets, but for just this brand. So that's cool to me. I like to help the little guys. Not that these are little guys, but probably in the grand scheme, they're smaller than any other company. Oh, look at that sun. Look at that sun hit that car. Don't... Tomorrow, it's actually getting cleaned paint corrected and ceramic coated. So it's gonna look even more ridiculous. Right now it looks great out in the sun. I mean, it is it is pretty dirty, but after that ceramic coating, it's gonna be next level. So look forward to that. That's gonna be next. Maybe I'll get some footage of Chris doing that. My buddy Chris does an incredible job. He's got OCD, so he's like the perfect detailer to ever exist. So I'm kind of just running on now, but you know, until next time, hopefully I got some cool parts to share with you guys, but I'm hyped for this process. I'm hyped for this build. Probably gonna go slow and steady here. It's kinda in the middle of summer, so I don't wanna do nothing crazy that's gonna take away from me getting some, you know, drive time. But until next time. Yeah.